What's up, Gerard here from the 3T Crew Rod G1 Climax B Block Night 16 review. There's only two nights left of the G1, one A Block show, one B Block show left. Who will be the one? But before that, let me put you on to some of what we're doing on 3T. If you want to listen to the 3T podcast, we got two new episodes out. One reviewing GCW's Bloodsport and the other reviewing baseball. Talking about baseball and building your own baseball teams with pro wrestlers. Check that out on Apple, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, Google Play, Podbean, and iHeartRadio. If you want to f- keep up up to date with what we're doing on social media, check us out on Twitter at 3TPod, at TikTok, at iStrongStyle, on Facebook at Through the Table, on Instagram at iStrongStyle and Through the Table. If you want to support the crew, buy some t-shirts. We got our new logo design shirts. Drop it on ProWrestlingTees.com. Yes, the three T crews are ProWrestlingTees.com. Now let's jump into our review. We're going to start off with our young line, Path the Dominance, Yota Tsutsuji and Yuhara Yuhara. Once again, Yota gets the upper hand. It's starting to really heat up with this young line today. Right now, him and Yuha are tied going into night 17. He won with a crazy giant swing into a very violent Boston Crab. I liked it. I mean, it is what it is. Now we're jumping into our second one. Now we're jumping into what we're getting into our regular block style match. This is my match of the night. Kenta versus the the resurgence of Yoshihashi. It was a very physical match. This was better than their match from the their American tour. where I, I was there live at Hammerstein. This was a rematch of that. Um, once again, Kenta gets the upper hand and wins. But, hell, the Yoshihashi take a chunk out of Kenta on the way out. What a physical match. I love this match. This was my match of the night. Check this one out. The next match was Zack Sabre Jr. versus Juice Robinson. Once again, this match was skippable for me. Um, they didn't really work mesh well together for me. Juice is good. Zack's good. But with Zack Sabre Jr., his offense is very much... You either like it or you don't like it. And this match didn't really work for me. You could skip this one. Now they did it to their cleaning for COVID-19. By the way, Yokohama Budokan looks great. Regardless of how many fans are there. It looked fan- phenomenal. And that big arena feel, you can finally feel it for once in the G1 so far. And then, you know, cleaning, promoting the merchandise. We're jumping into the second half, which is our three main events of the evening. Tetsuya Naito... Versus Toriano. I love this match. This is probably one of my other favorite matches. Yano has been very fun this tournament. I think this is probably Yano's best G1 overall in terms of this being very entertaining. And actually winning a lot of matches. He did not beat Naito here. But he tied himself up to... He tied Naito to Yota, to Tuji on the outside and between the rails. Yota had to get squeezed through the rails. They went into the ring. They dropped Yano. They untie each other. Um, Naito goes like this, teasing that Yota could join LIJ. When Yota, obviously, that's the double champ. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the taunt too. Gets dropped for that. It was great. Naito won. If they're getting low blowed, then low blowing Ano and then rolling into a pin. But a very fun match. If you're into comedy matches, check that one out. Now we got Evil versus Hiroki Goto. Very physical match. They fought each other before in the never open weight division for years on and off. And it would tag team action and stuff. So this is not a first time match. Very physical encounter. Once again, Evil kind of had a little assist here from Dick Togo. And then Evil won with a great GTR. They had a very cool sequence where he counted the GTR to GTW. Into everything is evil. I liked it. But, once again, the, the interferences are kind of wearing thin on me between him and Jay White. But it is what it is. That's what a heel is supposed to do. So I guess it's working. Now in our main event of the evening. By the way, I'm going to be reviewing the chances of who has to win the block at the end of this video. Sonata versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. This is my what I saw. Another great match. If you're just checking out certain matches, check out this one as well. Sonata does pick up the win against Hiroshi Tanahashi. This is the earliest. I mean, Tanahashi was eliminated in the last B-Block show. The earliest Hiroshi Tanahashi has been eliminated from the G1 in years. Mind you, he was a, I think he finished in the top four or six overall last year. And then the year before that, he was in the finals. He won. And then, you know, like he's always right there. This year, not so much. Sonata, once again, RB block pick is surging again. 
picks up another big win against a big champion. He's now won five straight matches. Like I said, could he run the table? We're going to be finding that out next. Because now we're into the, the nitty-gritty. We're going to talk some bracketology, so to speak. Right now, the only people who have a shot to win this tournament on the B-block side is Tetsuya Naito, Zack Zaber Jr., Sonata, and Evil. For Naito to win, all he has to do is win, and Evil has to lose. For Evil to win, all he has to do is win. And I think if Zack Zaber Jr. loses, but I'm not sure about that because this is crazy. For Zack Zaber Jr.'s chances to win is very much crazy. For Sonata to win, he needs to beat Evil and he needs Naito to lose because Naito does have one extra win above him right now. They need to be tied for the tiebreaker to kick in. For Zack to win, Zack needs to win. And then he needs to... I think he needs a Naito... He needs a Sonata loss because he beat Evil. So he needs a Sonata L. And I think he needs to beat Naito in the next block. But I think he's outside in. It's going to be decided between the three LIJ members and the two LIJ members and the one former LIJ member, Evil. And I think it's going to line up to Naito loses and the B block is going to be decided between Evil and Sonata in the main event from Rio Goku. And we'll see who wins from there. We're either going to see a Sonata or Evil finalist for the B block. Either way, I think the fans are getting something fresh. Neither one of them has been in a G1 final yet. So that's all from the 3T crew today. We're going into the last night of A Block next. But don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know who you think will be the one to win the G1. This is Gerard from the 3T crew signing off. Until next time, see you.